Hello everybody and welcome back to our China, the Roaring Dragon campaign um, in the Super Nations mod. So it's been, so I already said this last episode, but the last episode in the beginning I was talking about how I hadn't recorded for about a month and now it's been an additional month since then because the internet service I have my new apartment was not very good. And just this morning, I was able to install a new uh, internet provider, which is actually gives um, fiber internet. So I'm running at speeds about a thousand megabytes per second, which I'm super stoked about. But anyways, we left off with us preparing our invasion against the Sick Empire. So let's go ahead and get our armies moving. Should be pretty close. So hopefully there aren't too many difficulties. I'm running a new audio system as well, so I don't know how the sound is going to equate to that. But hopefully this episode isn't too wonky from that. So, if they want to ally us, considering that we're about to go to war against them, probably not. So once we get these armies in tow, in fact... Wait a second. What was I... Well, they probably just march through here because I can't march through here because it's not passable. In fact, there's no point in us going to war against the Sick Empire because of that. Okay. Um, these guys are free though. We could try to go through Nepal or go ahead and take out Kakand, which I feel like is probably the best option for us, but we don't have the infamy really to do it. Because we literally wasted it all in the Sick Empire, which, of course, we can't do anything against because we don't have any access. Now, would we be able to get access? Doesn't seem like it. No. Um, otherwise, I doubt the UK will give us access, would they? No, they wouldn't. Okay, there's no way we could pursue that. So let's go ahead and see doesn't matter so much because if we can because our biggest thing right now is making sure that we get westernized as quick as possible and so if we're doing that we have what almost 3,000 research points and currently our national focuses is encouraging those guys some clergymen or intellectuals. It's so 1.44 right now, so our best bet is getting that up to about 4% of the population in that state. And that's only if we want to go ahead and focus on education efficiency, which our education right now is pretty dismal. If we go to 2%, that'll give us the research points benefit, which might be the best bet here, especially because South Anhui is about the same population as North Young, so you just give or take 300,000 people. Um, same thing with who is most of these major states. So I might just go for the 2% and leave it there. So now the UK wants access from us. There's no reason for them not to. I mean, I don't see why they want it. But maybe... Yeah, of course not. Of course not. How's our new armies looking though? I think we're going for about... Actually, doesn't even seem to show a very good mixture here at all. There's a new army. So, three cavalry and six infantry per army. Is our goal here. Get that army set up. Is there, is there more being made? It doesn't seem like it. So, we have four cavalry. Let's go ahead and create two more troops. And then get 12 more of these guys. And that should get our armies to the point where we want it. We should probably be able to create a lot more. But these are going to be temporary armies until we actually get some more tech advantages. Military tech researched. We'll see how that goes. Now these armies are kind of worthless sitting here. So we can't do anything against the Sick Empire. That was my bad. I did not even think about that. During my last video. So, we'll just kind of wait for the infamy to tick down. It should tick down fairly fast, just because of our uncivilized nation. 
and we're at peace. So every year it goes down by about three points. What is our peace treaty expire of Dynam? 1842. So we can make Dynam our next target here. They do have 20% um, civilization progress, which is pretty good. So we can just go after them. And then even Siam, which I believe might actually be getting influenced by the UK. Yes, they are. Not a ton right now, though. They're only neutral. They need to be friendly in order for them to intervene in a war. So we do still have some time. But yeah, we'll just wait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip forward a bit. So you guys don't have to wait around and watch. So Portugal's once military access. Where are they at war with, actually? Oh, a lot of people. Sure, have access. But yeah, we're going to just wait. Probably till 1842. For me to take down and go after Dynam. So I'll see you guys back then. Hello guys, so welcome back. So it looks like Russia literally just declared war on us because they want King Fengtian. Fengtian? Okay, I can't pronounce any of this, so don't expect me to. But, where would that be? That just seems such a weird... Well, I could look it up, actually. Feng... Feng Yang. Where was that? Oh, that's not the province, though. Because they want... Yeah, so... Hmm. Get that out of my way. So, king... There it is. So they want this, then. Interesting. Uh, Shogun of Japan does want an alliance. I can't remember if we were already allies with them or not. But I will take an alliance for now. Um, Russia only has 70 brigades. They also only have 5 military tech. Like, if this was few, like more and further into the game, then it'd probably be more risky. But right now, we might actually be able to take them on. Because I have these... Well, I have a bunch of irregular troops, which are not going to help us at all. But if we do this correctly, we might be able to get a war and win this. But I don't like the fact that we have so many irregular troops. Apparently, we have quite a few troops down here as well. I don't know if there's any way to get them back up here, is there? Uh, Yunnan has their troops down here, too. Um, I don't think they're going to give us access. Of course not. We do have a navy, though, that can carry 32 troops. Let's go ahead and put this navy over here. We'll start transporting troops across. Otherwise, we have some more irregular troops. Which I'm thinking of just pushing north here. We're going to take a lot of attrition, but for China, that honestly is not going to matter that much for us. So let's get these guys up north. See what we can do about the Russians. And if we can take something in the war, which I'm not sure what we would take without causing a lot of border issues. Like up here, we could take some land. If it came down to it. Because it's literally just Russia against us. Nobody else. Right now they're moving. So how about you? I have a ton of irregulars, but um, let's look at their stats really quick. So 2.5 versus 2. So they are half. Yeah, so infantry are twice as good as them. Irregulars do march faster, though. Now, what do the Russians have? Looks like they probably have more of a mix of infantry and cavalry. I can't tell what the specific composition is unless we actually go attack them. Um, they're heading over here. And they have some troops down here. That's not going to work out for us. We don't have any more leaders. Can we go ahead and create more generals? No, we do not have the leadership. 
while you guys, let's send all of you this way. Hopefully get some sort of defensive position set up here and get them to attack us. That's all we need to do is win some battles. That's all we need to do. Uh, we have some more troops here. Let's send you guys up here just to get closer to the battlefront. It is ours. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Uh, let's get you guys up here. Then again, it might be quicker to transport them by ship. But we'll get them up here anyways. You guys can probably just march across up here. Do we have any good generals? Maybe just you. So let's get you guys situated like this. You are the one with a decent general. Well, not a terrible general. Otherwise, you might be able to fit, because this is 32 transports. Um, each of these guys are e they're 12 brigades. So we can fit two brigades on each one. So let's go ahead and take these two. And I don't know if this volume, effect volume, let's turn that up a little bit. See, if it's kind of quiet to me, it's probably definitely quiet for you guys. So they are mobilizing now. Are they at war with... No, it's just us. That would be too convenient for us. Yeah, you just have plus two. So let's get... Who's going up there? You. So let's get you here. You still have no leader. Now they're going to Kakao. Okay, so we need somebody to command this army. Okay, do we have anybody that's actually decent? Really? Okay. Like, we don't have a single... Well, there's this guy, but what we need is a defensive leader because that's what's going to happen. So, oh boy... Zanshan is probably going to be our best bet because we're going to get there on the 31st of October. They're going to get there on the 39th or 9th of November. So if we get this feller, which is where are you at? Right here. You, I'm taking you out and I'm putting you with you. Well, I stop them. They won't. Okay, good. Because then I want you to also move in. That still won't stop them. Hey, everybody go here. All right, you're here now, and you... I don't know if we have any digging efficiency whatsoever. It doesn't look like it. So we're going to have to take the terrain bonus as well as the plus two defense and hope we can fight off the Russians. Okay, we're not doing terribly. Okay, we got it, we got it. There we go. And up here, Korea. Can we get or force an attack on us somehow? Maybe if we move up here. I don't see those two armies so far. It's gonna take them a while to get the troops across. We definitely won this battle. Gotta keep an eye on the troops. So now they're heading up north. Plus, or the 1st of January, 20th of January. We get there on the 5th of January. I don't think we'll be able to save them. Unfortunately. And we just wiped out that army. That hardly gives any war score, though. 
And honestly, occupying isn't going to do us much good either. So, hmm. Let's go ahead and take back some land. If we can set up defensive lines here, it gives us the forest bonus as well as a river crossing bonus. So let's get you guys over there. And sort of station them like that. Alright, you need to go north. I'm pretty sure I have some troops on these ships. Yep, I do. Let's get you up there. see how this goes because they didn't exactly plan on a war with Russia though it's kind of something you would guess would happen regardless because China of course is uh, the punching bag of all the great powers especially during this time period of the boxer or the opioid um, wars opium wars sorry with the, the UK as well as Russia's gonna have claims over Manchuria at some point. So we got this. And now they're going to Uchan. So they're leaving on the 8th of February. They're getting there on the 10th. We would get there on the 26th. Is there any way we can force them to attack us? Let's go stay here. Oh wait. That was my bad. Shoot. We probably could have got that. Um, you guys split. With something like this. And maybe we can force an attack. And if we get our navy... Yep, we just dropped off a ton of those troops right there. Um, you... You're fine right there. Let's go grab some more troops. There's only 24,000 though. Um, we almost have another army set up there. Let's send you guys up here because that's their next big army. Now they're going to up here. Which is going to give us a one defense bonus. Do you have any good generals? You have a plus two attack. That's not good enough, though. We need... I don't think we have any more good generals. Let's go look again. One attack. We need a defensive guy. Which is just going to be you. And you are, of course, sieging, so we cannot take you. Okay. Or where are you? Are you right here? When will they get there? So 22nd of March. If we were to go here, we'll get there on the 12th. Okay, so let's go do that. Start marching you guys up north. If we send you guys in, will that stop them? No, it won't. We got the 20 seconds. I think we have a chance here. Alright, you should be good. No. You. No leader. Yes, we'll get a prestige loss, but that's fine. Um, oh boy, you are coming here. Center for you. This can be risky. Um, especially because we got some really bad guys there. Um, yeah. That's not what we wanted at all. So you guys can get there on the in April. So you'll be there on time to reinforce. Okay, good. I think we got it. Then you need to come up there as well. Just in case. Um, and then there's more Russians. 
And apparently the winning battles. Alright, send some more troops. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're going to switch over to the western front. This is a war I'm not entirely sure we are going to be able to win, ultimately. Because it is Russian manpower we're talking about. So have quite a few more brigades, too. Uh, you need to get here. Where are they going? Tomsk? Which is up north. In fact, that means you should probably get down here. Like, now. Um, the Russians are heading this way to attack us. Let's see if we can reinforce. Because they'll get there on the 18th. If we can win this battle before the 18th, which I think is probably unlikely. But we're killing more Russians now. We've actually got a really good roll, so that's good. But we may end up losing this battle. We definitely lost that one. Um, well, let's see, Ryuku wants an alliance, sure. Alright, you guys just need to head up here. So you do this way, because you're already almost there. And you just, yeah, head straight there. I don't know if they'll make it in time. Uh, we just lost this battle, right? Yes, but we did win. See, that's like, that's really dumb. So, we only got 0.1 war score for wiping out our entire army when they attacked us. It does not seem right. We did wipe out all their armies over here, so let's just switch over to this defensive area. Um, it might be a good idea to get these guys to recover if we can. In fact, most of these armies are completely depleted. And there's pretty much only one actual army that seems like it's in any fighting condition. Can we build more armies? One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's get more infantry. So we did just win that battle. Um, we have a few more troops coming. And maybe I can get my puppets to sort of take over here. We could command their units if we need to. But I don't think they have any actual troops over here. For my allies at least. So it's probably fine. Let's get you... Well, it's not really going to matter anymore. Because you need to get up here, don't you? And they're heading... There. Is there any way we can trap them again into attacking us? So if we go here, maybe we can bait them. So how about you stay behind, you go this way, you'll get there on the 1st of July, and they'll leave by the 14th. Could we by chance actually catch them? So if we get there after the 6th of July, but before the 14th, we'll be able to catch an army and destroy it. They're going to attack us, though. And they'll get there by the 12th. So, this army's already going to get there on the 10th. So, let's just time this right. And now, we have this army get there on the 10th. You just need to wait three days. 
Another army go through on the 10th. Okay, cool. So how about you guys? You'll get there a little bit later, but we can still get you guys down there. Let's get you over here and you over there. Okay, that's looking decent so far. We're still losing, apparently. Uh, Yunnan and Manchuria. And it's pretty much all their troops are down here. Is there any way, or can we? No, there's no way we can justify war anymore. Huh. Well, this will be interesting. Because there's, Manchuria already has some troops over here. Which would require us taking control of them. Um, but Tibet, on the other hand, does not. None of the other guys do. So let's go ahead and take control of Yunnan's troops. Let's take control of Tibet's troops. Xinjiang troops. And I guess Manchuria, at least for a little bit, to get them across this canal. Or can we not? Okay, so I guess they can't actually use their transports. That is a bit annoying. Okay, well. Um, I guess we'll just kind of wait a little bit. And come the 10th, we'll be able to intercept about 15,000 troops. Do we have any attack generals? No, we don't. Um, that's one thing we need to make sure of. Who is our attack general over here? We have... Where are they? So I know we have a plus two attack general somewhere. There you are. Where are you at? If I can find you. There you are. Um, I'm going to send you up here regardless. But let's go ahead and send you into, let's say, this army. After I unassign you. It's a bunch of irregulars though. So is that the best bet we have? Plus 12,000 man army. It does have some infantry. So maybe I'll just actually put it in the 9,000 man army. Or 12,000, that's what I meant. And do that. And hope for the best. In fact, we won that. Awesome. Um, and now they're going to Irkutsk. Would there be any way for us to actually pincer these guys down here? Because if we do that, we'll get there starting on the 7th of August. You would get there on the 17th. You would get there on the 14th. It'd be very staggered, but we can do it. And I think we'd be able to win, unless they reinforce, which I don't think they will. Uh, let's go ahead and get these troops back. There's no reason for us to have them at this point, I think. Because we still have to wait until 10th of March. So yeah, so let's go ahead and give these troops back. Or only Manchuria, actually, because Manchuria is the only one that actually has any troops being used up here, as well as Xinjiang, apparently. Wherever they are, right here. Get back units. Uh, Manchuria, did I just get Manchuria's units back? I thought. Oh, you know. That's why. I don't see anybody else I'm taking control of right now, so that's fine. They're going up there. 
So I think this will actually be pretty good for us. Unless they retreat. Um, but we could attack them here. So ear cuts 12th of December, or we could get there before them. They'll leave. But the big army already leaves the 29th of August. So we can easily take that. Oh, that's a good move. Let's do that. Yep, yep. We almost lost that entire army. And we're still not getting any war score whatsoever. Um, there really are no good ways to fight this war, is there? Because they just want this. Which is this entire area, I think. Oh no, it's just this. Poor Arthur. Is it really worth fighting over something like that? We can obviously take it back later. But for only one small port? I'm starting to think that maybe we should just give it to them, let them have it. So I wouldn't really consider it a loss. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. We are going to take the piece. Well, what's their armies like? 89? Yeah. If we take the piece, what happens to our prestige? We lose 11, but we already gained more than that during this war. Uh, lose 200,000? Gives us more research points, though. So we're at 30, or, yeah, 3, 000, almost 4,000 points right now. 2.33. Was actually, that actually might help us overall. That's like an extra research point per day. That's actually not that bad of a trade. I'm fine with that. Um, let's get the rest of you guys, though, back here. We're going to reorganize our armies a little bit, because our armies are not in a very good situation. A lot of, like, useless irregulars, for one. And number two, it looks like we have a ton of random... 3,000 man units. So hopefully we can get this figured out. But anyways, so I'm going to end this episode here. So we did fight off Russia a little. Well, we lost the war first off. But, but I think the trade-off was actually a lot more beneficial than it could have been. So I'm actually pretty happy with it. So I think it was good for us overall. Because we're going to be able to westernize a little bit quicker now which was our goal in the first place. Um, well, we're going to have to go for, so 8,000 points for another research point bonus when conquering. Uh, yeah, so 8,000 points looks like it's the best benchmark. Our next little goal is going to be the 8,000 points. Or 8,000 research points, so we can get foreign training methods. And yeah, we'll work with that. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. As always, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing if you would like to see more content just like this and more frequent uploads. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.